Hey guys, so Apple today has officially released another software update for iOS 18. iOS 18 and developer beta 5 is now officially out for registered developers. Now public beta testers, the third beta for you guys, which is the same equivalent of the fifth beta for developers, should be out here in the next 24 to 48 hours. As per usual, we'll have to wait and see. Apple's schedule has just been all over the place, but I'll be sure to update you guys in the video description down below once the third public Public beta is available for public beta testers and this update in my opinion has made some really nice changes in the photos application that I want to talk about I think it's one of the best updates yet because the photos application to say the least has been somewhat polarizing a lot of users love it some users really hate it but anyway we'll talk about some of the changes and everything that's new within the latest iOS 18 developer beta 5 today now this could also be a turning point at some point Apple switches to a weekly release schedule for iOS 18 betas. It is now the beginning of August, so Apple will most likely now start sending out new betas every week from here on out for iOS 18, that is. Now, for those of you running iOS 18.1 beta 1, no update available for you guys as of today, so I do have this device here running iOS 18.1. Obviously, no update is available for these devices. This is only iOS 18.0. Developer Beta 5 available as of today alongside iPad OS 18 Beta 5 as you see here. We also get Mac OS 15 Beta 5, TV OS 18 Beta 5, also Vision OS 2 Beta 5, and obviously Watch OS 11 Beta 5 is now available. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of those changes here happening with the latest iOS 18 and developer beta 5. So as I mentioned, a lot of the changes happening today have to do with the Photos application on iPhone. So as we launch the Photos application here, you may notice immediately that we no longer have the carousel option that we had in previous beta. So taking a look at this device here, you see where you have this carousel where you swipe from right to left to see your favorites, your videos, etc. Well, that's no longer available within iOS 18. As you can see right here, we no longer have that option apple has made everything just sort of sorted out here straightforward which i believe is one of the best changes they've done so far because as i mentioned the photos app was somewhat polarizing a lot of users really liked it some users hated it and i think a lot of users will appreciate this one or this version of the photos app a lot better it is more straightforward now there's also some updates happening on the home screen here so take a look at some of these dark mode icons here again the maps application once again redesigned i think it looks a lot better now some third-party applications would not adapt to dark mode icons but apple again expanded on that take a look at the whatsapp icon one of the icons that wouldn't switch to dark mode is now in dark mode also the find my icon it looks a lot better this time around so a lot of refinements happening here if we long press on the home screen and click on edit we now have an additional option right there to edit pages if you click here obviously you'll be able to edit your pages so you can select and unselect some of these options here from the home screen and in control center there's also a lot of refinements happening here so once apple starts refining everything within the operating system a lot of the icons the control center the home screen icons and things like that it means that apple is quickly approaching the final stages the final release for ios 18 now for those of you wondering when will apple release iOS 18 the official final release there isn't any confirmed date as of yet but if history is any indication I believe iOS 18 will most likely release on September the 16th so mid to late September is when we can expect iOS 18 to be officially released to the general public now keep in mind that this software will not contain any apple intelligent features that is going to be for ios 18.1 which by the way no beta was made available today at least as of the filming of this video so ios 18.1 is currently in beta testing as well but it won't be available until mid to late october with apple intelligent features the new iphone 16 and all that good stuff but right now ios 18 developer beta 5 is out with a lot of the new refinements and it's looking pretty Pretty good make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because of course i'll continue digging around the operating system to share with you guys a follow-up video of anything else that i find so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace